Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to make this fade and reveal effect. As you can see, uh, there is a sphere that is following the character and as I move close to a mesh, uh, the material on the mesh changes and it reveals a new material. So this effect is based on the player's position. So this is what it looks like. Um, we have a vector parameter collection and an absolute world position. And using a sphere mask, we can draw a sphere with these two uh, distances. And we can specify a radius. So the radius will be that radius. So here we have a radius of 500. We can increase that or decrease that. And also the hardness depends on how smooth the transition is so if i give it a value of 0.5 or something then it will fade a you can see that uh, feathering of that texture so we are going to recreate this using a material function so it looks like this so uh, we can use this in multiple materials so uh, this is without the material function so you have to create all these uh, nodes but if we create one material function you can reuse it in different materials so to create that right click then materials then material function I will name this uh, new material function and open it up right click and stop preview so we don't get this error now so the first thing uh, we need is a absolute world position so type in world position so uh, this will get the world position of the material and now we need a sphere mask so right click and type in sphere mask and connect this to A and for B we will give an input so right click and type in input function input this will be a vector 3 input and I will just mask this since we are going to uh, give it a vector 4 input using our vector parameter collection so it might cause some error so get a component mask then check this B also make sure that R G and B are checked and connect this to B and for radius I will just duplicate this and change this to a scalar and connect this to radius and I will name this radius and this one position then I will uh, change the solve priority of this to 1 then I will duplicate this again and this will be hardness and connect this to hardness and change the solve priority to 2 and give it a default value of 1 then get a layer so press and hold L and click so we get this layer and connect this to alpha and connect this to the output result and for A and B, we will give a vector 3 input. So press Ctrl W to duplicate this and connect this to A. Now press Ctrl W to duplicate this again and connect this to B. And so for the solve priority, here we will give a value of 3 and here we will give a value of 4. And this will be the first texture, texture 1 and this will be the second texture texture 2 so that's all we need to do here now click apply and save now we will create our new material right click and material and just going to name this um, grass and open it up 
then drag and drop our new material function in so we this material function and connect this result to base color and the solve priority here is messed up so let's fix that so here okay so I will give this a value of 4 and I will give this a value of 5 so that the solve priority basically controls the order in which this inputs are placed so if you have a value of 0 it will be the first one so now let's uh, get our two textures that we need so go to the content browser then starter content textures I'm just going to get this mock texture and maybe this most text and just connect this to text 1 and connect this to text 2 and for radius I will press and hold 1 and click so we get this constant and connect this to radius and give radius a value of 500 and for hardness I will give a value of 1 and for position we need to get the player's position so we have to create a parameter collection for that so go to content browser then right click and materials and textures material parameter collection and I will name this player position then open it up and I will add a vector parameter and I will name this position now to give the value of the player's position to this vector parameter you just have to go to the level blueprint then on tick we have to get player character then drag and type in get world location of the capsule component then we will right click and type in set vector parameter and connect the tick here and choose the asset we created that is player position and the parameter name is position and connect this to the parameter value and compile and go back to the material and so now we will give the position here so right click and type in parameter collection and this one is player position and change this to position and connect this here and click apply and save now I'm just going to drag and drop the material into the landscape let it compile so now I think there is some problem let's see oh we give the radius a value of 1 let's change that to 500 click apply So now you can see that there is a circle that is following the player. So the other materials won't do that because we change the parameter collection. So they use the old parameter collection that I had, the pillar and the box, but we change that. So it won't work for them. So you can also get a texture coordinate and fix the tiling a bit so let's see that so change this to 7 and 7 click apply okay we need 
the lower value so 0.1 and 0.1 then apply so yeah so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this